Recording in progress. Let's now proceed to diagnosis according to the sample organ patterns with the etiology of liver imbalances. Due to its dynamic ascendant and expansive energy, the liver is adversely affected by limitations. This is particularly evident on the mental emotional level. All kinds of frustration, irritation, and suppressed uh, or unresolved emotions will stagnate liver chi. It is the ability of the liver and the hoon to have a vision and a goal while also having the dynamic to move towards this goal, which is the liver's strength. Unfortunately, it is also its weak point. Frustration and thereby liver chi stagnation arises every time you are prevented from doing what you want to, and every time you are forced to do something you do not want to do or do not like. That is, each time the hoon is prevented from fulfilling its vision. When we live in a society with other people, we will constantly be impinged upon by other people's visions and ideas. This means that you will, to a greater or lesser degree, have to make compromises and not do what you would ideally like to. Every movement in life is either towards what you want or what to do or away from what you don't want or don't want to do. It may be that you are trying to achieve some goal or it may be that you are trying to avoid something unpleasant. Each time you are blocked in this movement towards pleasure and satisfaction or away from suffering or pain, it will stagnate the liver chi. There is a significant difference between how much your vision or ideal of yourself and your life is obstructed and how much you will be subjected to other people's vision of how much you can determine your own life or the number and size of the compromises that you have to make. It can be anything from having to live with a tyrannical husband or having a boss who humiliates or harasses you to having spent Sunday afternoon with your in-laws, do the washing up or just stand in a queue. Anything that prevents you from doing or being what you want or being where you want to be will stagnate liver chi. The extent to which these things can stagnate a person's liver chi is also determined by how good they are at accepting the circumstances of their life. Two people faced with the same intransigent situation will have different degrees of dissatisfaction depending on their ability to accept the rea reality they are confronted with. This is important to remember when treating chronically ill patients. Being ill and not being able to live life as they would like whilst having physical or emotional pain will stagnate a person's liver chi. This means that even though liver chi stagnation was not necessarily a part of their diagnostic picture in the beginning, it will often have become an element of their imbalance dynamic by the time that we meet them in the clinic. Anger, which is the feeling or emotion that has a resonance with liver and the wood face, can affect the liver negatively in two ways. Anger has a very strong yang dynamic. Anger causes liver chi to ascend upwards. This means that anger can aggravate and trigger conditions caused by ascending liver yang or liver fire. On the other hand, because anger is so dynamic and powerful in its energy, it will have an equally powerful stagnating effect on the liver chi if it's not expressed. As well as consuming chi and yin, Stress can have a stagnating effect on liver chi. This is because stress can be extremely frustrating. It is said that, this, that stress does not arise from all the things that you have to do, but from all the things that you don't have time to do. Frustration at not achieving your objectives and goals, as well as feeling impatient, will stagnate liver chi. 
stagnation of liver chi combined with the consumption of the kidney and heart yin, which is often another consequence of stress, can lead to the generation of heat in the body. Thank you for your attention.